So here are the lamps we're gonna be working with. As you can see, they've got really good bones, but the design is not exactly, you know, of now is probably more like an 80s type design, but it's got a nice urn shape. So the first thing I did was I gave them a good scrub because they had been sitting in someone's house for a while and they were a little dusty and grimy. So I gave them a good scrub. Then I just went over them really quickly with like an 80 grit sandpaper. Um, I don't know if it did a whole lot, but I wanted to kind of cut down the, the shiny surface. And then next I taped up all of the places that I didn't want paint to get on. I even taped up the cord in the back. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is put some spray paint on that. So here's the paint I'm using. It's a Rust-Oleum Two Times Ultra Coat Paint and Primer. It's a satin and nutmeg. So I gave this a really good shake. I purchased this at Home Depot. And now I'm gonna do several light coats of paint on the lamps. All right guys, so I'm outside, so I'm sorry about all the noise. I just wanted to show you. I'm just going to um, start off of my project and start nice, smooth coats. And this will give me a really nice base coat. You really don't want to put too much on because with a slick surface, it will have a tendency to run. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one light coat and then I will let you know how many coats it takes to cover these lamps. So here's what they look like after one coat of paint. You can see that the design isn't completely covered, but I did try to cover the whole thing. So I'm gonna let these dry for whatever the paint can says before I can put a second coat on. And we're just gonna keep on working. All right, so I've got, I think two or three, three light coats of paint on the whole thing. And the next thing I did was I just took a piece of super fine steel wool and I just kind of rubbed it back and forth, kind of knocked down any burrs from the paint. Um, of course, I'm outside, so there were a couple bugs stuck in the paint. And I just wanted to give it some texture. So as you can see, I was a little aggressive down here and you can see the white through here. Um, it's not really gonna show that much, but I want to go ahead and touch that up. So all I'm gonna do is take my spray paint and I'm gonna spray some in the lid so it makes a little bit of a puddle. I'm gonna just take this brush and I'm just kind of dab over that. Like I said, it's not super imperative that it's 100% covered because the next step is we're gonna be adding some cream colored paint. So I just kind of want to disguise that little, oops, right there. So now I'm just gonna let that little bit dry and then we will move on to the next step you could stop right here at this point i think they look pretty good um, but i want to do a little bit more texture with some um, creamy colored paints to make it look more like a wood texture you notice there's a little white right here so i'm just going to dab that with the paint this you won't really see too much because of the lampshade but so far i'm super happy with this project and i can't wait to do the next step Okay, now that we have the base coat on, the next step is to add some texture. And this is my inspiration. This is a lamp that I saw at Target, but you can see it has some white and some different colors and it kind of is like, has a striation effect, kind of like a wood grain. So how I'm hoping to achieve this look is with this khaki color paint, this is a Michaels Craft Smart paint, and also this vanilla Michaels Craft Smart paint. And I'm gonna be using um, these chip wood brushes. Um, I'm going to put it on with a very dry technique. And what I'm gonna do first, I just have the paint here on a paper plate, is I'm gonna put some on the paper plate. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna dab it off like so. And I'm gonna try it first on my basically my drop cloth here that I'm using and to kind of see um, how much paint I may need. Obviously that's way too much paint so I definitely want the much, much drier brush. So I'm going to use the khaki color first and then the vanilla and we're gonna see how that comes out. All right, this is the last one I have to do. I finished this one. I'm very happy with how it looks. I had my inspiration sitting here while I painted. Obviously it's not quite the same, but it's just an inspiration. So now I have to do the same thing I did to this one, to this one. So I'm starting with the darker color first, the khaki color, and I dip my paint, 
my brush into my paint, but I want to get about 90% of that off of there. I want a very dry brush. So just using my drop cloth or my scrap paper, I just get most of that off. You can always add more. It's a lot harder to take off. So what I did was I'm going to start, get my arm out of the way so if I can do this left-handed, and just lightly brush down with a light hand at first. You can always go a little heavier, but it's better to start light. And you can see the paint is very, very light. And I'm gonna go ahead and add down here. And tap it in right here. So I'm gonna go around the whole lamp doing it that way and up top I'm going to start right here and just lightly brush down. You can start like right here at the neck. I think it makes it a little bit smoother. You really just have to kind of play with your brush and your paint to get the right consistency. If you have a wet towel nearby you can always kind of wipe off really quick anything that you don't like. So that's basically what I'm going to do with this dark khaki color and I'm going to just make sure I do that all over pretty much just up and down right now in this basic stroke. And it doesn't matter if it's a little darker here because that's where the paint would collect anyway. So let me go ahead and finish up with this khaki color and I'll show you the next step. So once you have it all done this way then you want to do your brush again. Remember getting most of that paint off and then what you're going to do is then you're going to take your brush and go this way with a very light hand and you're just going to add, that's going to add that cross hatch texture. Just spin this around, go over it. Do that up here. You want a stroking, not a dabbing. And you just want to make sure you hit everywhere. You're just going to go ahead and keep making those marks. And you see that it adds that, oops, sorry. The, sorry about the lighting. It adds that texture that we're looking for. So I'm just going to finish up that. I'm going to do that down here on the base as well. So basically, I did that with the khaki color. I'm going to finish up doing it this way and then I'm going to do the same exact thing with the vanilla color, the, the, the lighter of the two colors. Um, I may do a little lighter hand with the vanilla color, um, but I just keep cross hatching your way around until you get the texture that you want on the lamps. Alright, so I have both lamps painted. The next step is just to take off all of the blue tape and get them ready for their lampshades. Of course, I'm going to let them dry a little bit, but let me zoom in and see if you can see the texture. So you can see the dry brushing technique. And I just, you know, they don't look exactly alike. There's a couple spots that might have a heavier hand, but I kind of like that they look, you know, very natural. They're supposed to look like wood. So one step I did forget to tell you guys, when you are done with the steel wool after you rub it. There's going to be lots of flakes of steel wool. I would do that step outside too. It kind of makes a mess. Just make sure you wipe the lamps down really good. Make sure you have all that steel wool dust off. Um, so basically just give them a real good cleaning before you do the dry brush technique. So I'm going to let these sit for a minute. I'm going to get the lamp shades ready and then I'll show you what they look like in place. So here are the lamps with their shades all complete and in place. I got the shades on clearance at Target for $12.50 a piece. So for $4 worth of spray paint, two shades for what, $24.50. I have two beautiful lamps for right around $30. And my inspiration lamp was $39.99 without the shade. So I think I did pretty good. I hope you all enjoyed my lamp DIY. I am telling you I am in love with these lamps. I 
When I first saw the lambs, they were really ugly, but they had such good bones, and I passed on them at first, and then I texted Tara and said, save those lamps for me, I've got an idea. So I think they came out better than I ever imagined. I'm super happy with them. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. If I hope that you will take something that you think is ugly and turn it into something beautiful. So again, guys, if you were watching this in March or April of 2016, I would really appreciate your vote at Dream Jobbing for the Home and Family DIY Expert. I will leave the link in the description box. So again, I would really appreciate your vote for that. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe if you have not, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.